Welcome back to the accuracy for vaping mushrooms. I'm off camera for a moment. Okay, so what I have for you today is 24 hours gravity filtration and I have that. All right. So I forgot to let you know that that's going to take 24 hours. Guess what? It's going to take 24 hours. But the good news is we're ready for the next step, which takes 11 hours. Mind you, mind you, I could I could have have just gone ahead and worked with it with uh, ethanol in the first place. I, I could have mixed it right in ethanol and extracted it that way because this is this is already extracted by hot water before I get it. But but that doesn't tell you anything. Now the reason why I'm not doing it that way is because we have we have two levels of uh, extraction going on here. I want to capture the first level of extraction in the liquid that comes out of the filtration. I want to take the leftover solids and mix it with ethanol. I have ethanol in the speaker. I had, I had uh, started this recording a few minutes ago and, and I, I watched you or had you watch me pour it and everything else. But I had to stop it because I forgot my headphones and I was talking to the, the iPad and not to the microphone in here. So, I don't know what it would sound like. I didn't check it out. I'm probably not even recording. Funny. All right, so so what we're, what we're doing here is, uh, this is my boiler. It, it boils and it condenses into here. Well, it condenses into here. I got a pop cock and I can pour it out what little I want. Now, that's going to be, what's in here is different than what's going to be in here. However, I can utilize 1% of the total mass. Like, like for example, if, if uh, I'm making 900 milliliters, right? I could take 1%, which is nine milliliters, out of here and put it into my whole process. Right? Okay, so so now now let's figure out what in the world I'm talking about. First off, <clears throat> I took six grams of uh, mushrooms in my six my six mushroom blend, a gram each, and I mixed it with a hundred milliliters of glycerin, right? The next step, and, and after mixing it, I filter out the solids. So I want what's in here because, because glycerin extracts from the pulp something, uh, hot water extracts from the pulp something, and lastly, ethanol extracts from the pulp something. Um, the, the bottle that I have now my, my supply I have now hasn't been reintroduced the ethanol extracted but what else the ethanol does in this process is to break this down so I can put it into the liquid this is kind of like uh, up in the ante but it also as, as they pointed out it also extracts certain things and evaporates things you might necessarily want to keep this is the liquid I have it's syrupy. This is this is the filtered mushroom and glycerin. This is the solids here. I want to rinse. I want to rinse this out with my ethanol, and then pour the combination into here and boil it off. It takes eleven hours to boil it off. I have a thermometer here. I need to keep it at. I need to keep it at um, a steady, 
Or is it not steady? 79 degrees Celsius. This is a Celsius thermometer, by the way. I'm an American. Fahrenheit's my, my, my area of expertise. All right, so, so anyway, keep that at that range for 11 hours, boil it off. What I want, ultimately, is I want dark on the bottom of this, would be my, my hopes. But not, not always does it happen. But what's in there, it would be like we can, but what, what's in there is, it, it is some uh, mushroom byproducts, or, or uh, let's see if we want. So right now, I'm getting ready to clean my filter off with ethanol. So what I'm going to do, like this, get the majority of the sludge into here. Now, the thing is, is getting it out of uh, the uh, extractor bottle. I mean, if you look at the extractor bottle, I have to at least have enough in here. Not so, uh, you know, liquid to pour it in and out of there. If I left it as a paste, if I left it as a paste, this is ethanol, 90, 95%, 98, 98.5%. See, that'll clean it up a little bit. Really nice, really clear. Now, what the ethanol does is it breaks down the solids so they can, in turn, go through this filter. This is a, a two filtration process. And then what's left over, I don't want in my uh, container. But right now, I'm trying to get, get everything. So I'm certain one of you out there can figure out how to do this much neater, much more uh, efficiently. But as I was saying, the, the last time I did it, my current production was straight into ethanol, filtered, and voila. But I'm thinking that I'm losing a little bit in in my uh, in my water, uh, in my glycerin extraction, which is in here. If I boiled it all off, I'm thinking I may lose product or or, or uh, constituents that I want which would end up being in here rather than in here so so this way i'm positive to have to the best of my knowledge when when i promote this to you everything that i put in it is my idea Perhaps I should wear those nitro gloves as well. See the yeah. All right. Okay, so I got the majority of it again in there. Turn this upside down like so. One of the good news about utilizing ethanol at this point is any bacteria that, that may have floated onto it. See, mushroom powder is, is uh, extremely choice for bacterium to hang out on. 
It's like food, choice food. That's why it's choice for us to ingest it as well. It is really So I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it all with as little as possible, right? Because because uh, it take longer to boil it up, right? The more you use. But I'm trying to keep a, a consistent formula down. I mean, so far, so good. Everything's working. I haven't changed anything yet. You know, that kind of deal, you know? It's not that I'm afraid to change the, the methodology, et cetera. It's more along the lines right now is trying to establish a way to go about it to get the best return out of effort. You know, this is this is a a potential money making business, you know. Not everybody wants wants to be addicted to to a substance. Not everybody wants to have to worry about whether or not their nicotine needs are going to ruin their uh, outlook or, or or their potential. Let's say you know the smoke break, for example. They may have less. Okay, so I got it. Got it all off the off the off the filter, the nice filter. And in there, I have a little bit left over. Let me show you what I did. Okay, there's the filter. So next, next is to do. Now these, these, this, this mushroom solids that are in here. Oh, that is so nice. You know what? If I'm lucky. What do you mean if you're lucky? Okay, if I'm lucky, I could be able. To, I'll be able to get away with it. What do you mean? It feels good. It feels like, uh, it feels really good. All right. A fun would be nice. So, what did I have in mind for that? Oh. Your mom must have told you many times to pour it over the sink. And or. And here, I'm being the fool. All right. That's a bit of it. I'm gonna swill it with that. Hold on one second. Yeah, this plan ahead sign. I forgot my phone. Oh, what have I done? What have you done? Okay, let's go back to it. My best, my best way to funnel would be from here to there. And that's the solids on the bottom. That's that's what we're you're we're gonna break down with the cooking off the ethanol. Okay. 
trying to get that in here without, without making undue mess. So if I do it off camera, you can't see that I made a mess. All right, now where did I put my battery bar? Okay, so we're almost ready. One of, the, one of the issues that I'm having is my inability to think ahead. Oh. But this, this, this is a process, in order to get enough film, I got one chance to do it. So I apologize if I'm not as neat or as ideal as you would like me to be. But you get the idea of what I'm doing. You get the, the gist. This quite possibly could be the, the, the batch that I sent to the FDA. Quite possibly. So you're all in witness of how I put it together for them to ask you whether or not, whether or not I should have the patent. The problem is this lacquer, this table is lacquered. If I spill it on there, left over. I mean, not to say it's not messy, but it is messy. drop cloth down should I was after paper towel a moment ago. Alright, so you want to watch me fail. Oh my god. On the on the last video somebody had come to the door behind me or in front of me and uh, that person sees the mess I made. He just put this together. He just, he just sprung the bill to put this, this whole room together. And I'm certain that he wouldn't be happy too much. So, but he's going to see the video and hear me say this. Oh my God. All right, getting back to nothing. Okay, so as, as we see here, I have a stirrer. Where's my uh, pill? There it is. I have... You notice on, on my tweezers here, it's one of those uh, those tweezers that stay closed. I have a magnet. There's a magnet in here. Turn the stirrer. And then a heater. Okay, so, the little bit of that's up in here is going to go down in there. Okay. Luckily, believe it or not, you put wax on that. And that wax repels the ethanol. How much fun is that? 
Alright, so my utensils over here, I gotta clean these out. So those folks with me after the video. To go to um, the kitchen. Clean it out. So what I wanna tell you, I clothes would be fine. Um a clean place to, to work on, nothing weird like this where everything knocks itself over to this uneven surface. I should have used it in the tray at the very least. Um, my cool lamp went off. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here on a towel. I store the ethanol in a little refrigerator here. It's in this room. And that's why you didn't get me to see to pour it. Well, I'll show it to you. An idea. I got a gallon of it. 99.5% ethanol. It's caustic. That, you know what that means, I would hope. Something that's caustic will affect you. So you don't want to spill it on yourself. Things like that. Um, it's not, it's not the alcohol that, that you would want, you wouldn't want to tell people that you have it that would like, that would try to drink it, right? So you want to keep that information away from those people. Because of course, you don't want to try to drink it, that'd be, that'd be foolish. Alright, next step is... So I have the heating pad on and I have it spinning. Now, now granted, when I, when I did it before and I just stuck it straight in the ethanol, it was so thick. I mean, this, this made it so much better. Filtering it out first made it so much better. Now, now the, the uh, here, as a matter of, of interest, I have my Alright. Okay, so so what's in here is let's put this on top. Is glycerin extracted mushroom. Right? So it's a, it's a not quite a hundred milliliters of glycerin because part of the goop that I put in there had some of the glycerin in it. So again, I'm not going to extract 100% of the alcohol from the final solution. And which is good because I can put up to, up to uh, 1% of alcohol in it, one to 2% as, 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 uh, as industry norm is. The, the industry that makes vape have one to 2% of ethanol. Okay, so now, but I didn't have to. With this, I didn't have to because it, it flows pretty good. Well, maybe I should have at least maybe maybe a 005 percent because uh, it does. It does now and again when I when it's sitting there like this one's been sitting there for you know, 24 hours. Again, because I, I want to keep this this one ready to show off my idea. So what happens like like it, um, we have. Uh, weather here. This is Nevada. It's a desert, but there's still weather. When it's moist here, it, it's, it's crazy. It, it's, uh, it's crazy. So th that barometric pressure, you want to do this. You just want to pop it open now and again, e uh, every day in the morning after you charge it, things like that. So if it's setting in, in you know, in, it may not matter much, but the idea is that during the day, the barometric pressures change. And this is a thicker medium than most. So granted, maybe maybe the bit of ethanol would be a good idea. But that's not what I'm getting at. I'm getting at, I'm trying to get it. So we have a, a uh, consistency. Now granted, now mind you, um, it doesn't matter at the level that I want to pr promote this. I want, I want to be able to send you um, 
two of these and a cigar box that would charge these as it's sitting in there is the idea and 270 tips which would last you the year's worth that way you run out of the tip you're not concerned whether or not it's burned out you go to the next one right so 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 that's that's my idea and then I could be as thick as possible on this and not, not really concerned with it. The, the problem with these things is now and again, it, uh, remember I, I filled these up yesterday. It's, oh, I love it. I mean, brand new tips, oh, that's your best flavor. Um, by the way, I went 2,000 puffs already, 2,050 puffs on this, 2,041. From, from yesterday, or 24 hours ago, from when the last video. All right, so I get four minutes. So my idea is to uh, tell you, okay, in 11 hours, this will be done. And in 11 hours, I'll be in the middle of a Sunday simultaneous chess game. So, who knows, right? What is 11 hours from now? It's six o'clock. No, it's fine. I won't be there till nine. So, so five o'clock in the morning, I, I should be out here. We should make another video at five o'clock. Uh, this is an advocacy for vaping mushrooms. And the cloud, baby, the cloud's there. If you want to make clouds, it's here. If you want to make designs, it's here. We could do this in public. We could bake next to a person. If they go, uh, 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 you know they're full of shit. All right, so, so what we want to do is, is we want to promote it. We want to promote the fact that it is, uh, Breathe easier, long life. This is a this this one is the, the the mushroom equivalent to our lungs. This one's the mushrooms equivalent to our nervous system. This is chaga, the equivalent to our immune system. This is cordyceps, equivalent to our zombie want to be stuff. Just kidding. This is turkey tail. I mean, this this is this is ram pack full of medicinal help, right? I cherry picked the documents that prove that it's all pulmonary. I'm inhaling it. Cordyceps gives you the the, the, the slight numbness, so you don't hack your lung up in the event that it would have. But the mushrooms in general, they're very smooth. They're very smooth. There is no no tickle. But if you're new to uh, vaping and you smoked many years, you have smaller parts of your lungs that haven't had to smoke, so they haven't been irritated. So the irritation may be an issue. The cordyceps take care of that irritation. I know I keep walking with my camera. So I know it, it's shortly, shortly here making sure that I can have this run for, for overnight. Ooh, it's starting. Let me see what my temperature is and then we'll just call home. Okay, so I have it like this so I can lower this in. I have it nearby. You heard that, huh? That's me hitting the fill. I don't want to hit the fill. Okay, so I'm watching it go up. I know where the 80 is. So that's really what I'm looking for is the 80. If it goes up to 80, I'm fine. Because you want 79. It's got to go up another 20 degrees. Okay, so, so you just keep the eye on that. That's why you need a thermometer. You need this closed. So it needs, it needs time in order to start dripping into here. Now, in the, in the winter, I'll use it. All right. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day.